Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated various development projects in the Sikha district of Polbond, Rajasthan. He said the central government has taken decisions in the interest of farmers for nine years and created new arrangements from seed to market for them. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated Gujarat's first greenfield airport near Rajkot city located in Hirasar village. PM is on a two-day visit to Gujarat and also unveiled several significant projects. All MPs belonging to the opposition's India Alliance wore black clothes to parliament as a mark of protest against the government over the Manipur issue. Parliament proceedings devolved to a contest of vocal reprisals once again as the opposition and government lawmakers clashed in a cacophony of India India and Modi Modi slogans claiming external affair minister S.J. Shankar's address on the nation's foreign policy as a casualty. External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar assailed the opposition for disrupting his statement in Rajya Sabha, saying they claim to be India, the name of their alliance. But if they are not prepared to listen about India's national interest, then what kind of India are you? As the logjam over Prime Minister Narendra Modi's statement in Parliament over the violence in Manipur continues, former MP and senior Congress leader Rahul Gandhi took a swipe at the BJP-led central government, saying that the Saffron Party will let the country burn for the sake of power. Opposition members led by Congress MPs walked out of Rajya Sabha proceedings over their demand for a discussion on the Manipur issue. In a relief to the Union government, the Supreme Court allowed Enforcement Directorate Chief Sanjay Kumar Mishra to continue till 15th of September in larger public interest. The IMD upgraded Mumbai to a red alert from orange as heavy rain slashed the city. As per IMD, the heavy downpour is likely to continue for two days. The Yamuna River in Delhi continues to flow over the danger mark of 205.33 meters with a peak level at 205.75 meters at AM in Delhi Railway Bridge. Sikkim Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang asserted that his government will provide 12-month maternity leave and one-month paternity leave to its employees. He said this while addressing the annual general meeting of the Sikkim State Civil Service Officers Association. An Indian crew member was killed and 20 others were injured when a major fire broke out on board a cargo vessel carrying nearly 3,000 cars off the Netherlands coast, with Dutch Coast Guards warning that the blaze could last for several days. The Indian Space Agency announced that it had successfully conducted two additional hot tests on the Gaganyan service model propulsion system. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un held a meeting with Russia's Defense Minister Sergei Shaigu during his rare visit to the isolated country. As per the state media, both sides pledged to strengthen their ties. Pakistan Finance Minister said that China has rolled over $2.4 billion loan to its all-weather ally Pakistan for two years to help the cash-strapped country shore up its foreign exchange reserves. Doxuri typhoon swept through northern Philippine provinces with ferocious wind and rain, leaving at least six people dead and displacing thousands of others as it blew roofs off houses, flooded low-lying villages and triggered dozens of landslides.